Some Windows users who try to use Google Chrome get the message couldn't load plugin. If you're looking for a solution to this problem, you are on the right track. You can follow the solutions in this video to fix it. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, make sure to install Google Chrome updates. Open Google Chrome. Click Customize and Control Google Chrome found at the top right corner of the browser. Select Help. Then select about Google Chrome next. Chrome will automatically install any updates when available and if it is already updated, a message should be reflected on the page. Restart Chrome once the updates are installed to complete the process. Try using Chrome to identify if the couldn't load plugin error has been successfully fixed. Next, check for necessary components. All of the browser's plugins, especially Adobe Flash, must be up to date as this could be the problem. Open Google Chrome. In the address bar, type Chrome slash slash components and click enter. A list of all the plugins will be reflected on the screen. Click the check for update button for each of the plugins to ensure that all are updated. Relaunch the browser after all the installed components are up to date. Next, refresh the user data. Open Google Chrome browser. Click the three dots icon. Select more tools. Select clear browsing data. Click the drop-down menu in the time range field and select all time. Click clear data. Restart the browser to check if the couldn't load plugin is now resolved after the Google Chrome user data has been cleared. Next, turn off the shockwave flash. Try turning off shockwave flash if it's installed on your Windows PC. Here's what you need to do. Launch the Chrome browser. Click the three dots icon. Then select more tools. Choose Task Manager. Locate and highlight the shockwave flash. Select End Process Next. Select Reload Afterwards. Relaunch Chrome and check for the problem. Next, use a system file checker. In some cases, the problem that caused the problem in the first place is caused by corrupted system files. Go to the instructions to fix the system files with this built-in Windows tool. Press the Windows icon. Enter the word command prompt. Select Run as Administrator. Select Yes when the user account control message appears on the screen. In the command prompt window, type isfc slash scano and hit enter. Wait for a few minutes until the process is complete. Close the command prompt window. Relaunch Chrome and check for the problem. Next, turn off PDF isolation. For some Chrome users, the couldn't load plugin error goes away when they turn off PDF isolation in Chrome settings. Follow these steps to turn it off. Open the Chrome browser. In the address field, type Chrome, double slash flag slash and click enter. Find PDF isolation. Click the drop-down menu ahead select disable. Restart Chrome and see if the couldn't load plugin error is now removed. Next, minimize your Chrome tabs. Too many open tabs can sometimes cause problems with your browser because they use up a lot of memory on your computer and slow it down overall. Reinstall Google Chrome. If none of the other solutions have worked, you may need to uninstall and reinstall the Chrome browser to fix the problem. This is important because Chrome might not have been completely installed or the browser might have a bug or virus that causes the error.ll performance. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.